Comic Collector Live presents Super Mega Comic Action News at Midnight! Do me a favor, don't say anything right now. I'm Agent Boyd, I'm with Super Mega Comic Action News at Midnight. Thank you for joining me on another episode. I have an assignment for you if you'd like. I want you to go over this comic book with me. It's by Marvel Comics. It's called Agent Carter Number 1. Check it out. Today's CCO Comic Pick of the Week is Agent Carter Number 1 by Marvel Comics. It was written by Catherine Eminen with art by Rich Ellis. If there's any comic fans who don't know who Peggy Carter is, there's a good chance you've never seen any of the Captain America films, read any of the Captain America comic books, never watched a single episode of the Agent Carter television show, and quite possibly might even need some help remembering where you parked your car this morning. Don't touch Lola. While the cinematic universe Agent Carter, played by the absolutely stunning and talented Haley Atwell, has a slightly different background than the Agent Carter of the Marvel 616 comic universe, the two share many of the same basic core historical facts. Peggy Carter was a soldier and spy who fought alongside Captain America during World War II. The two eventually fell in love, but the romance was cut short when Cap was believed dead. Continuing Marvel's celebration of the 50th anniversary of the Strategic Homeland Intervention Enforcement and Logistics Division, aka SHIELD, Agent Carter number one story takes place in 1966 aboard one of the S.H.I.E.L.D. helicarriers. Peggy is asked by Dum Dum Dugan to personally assess a potential new recruit into the S.H.I.E.L.D. organization. Interesting note here, I didn't know Dum Dum's full name is Timothy Aloysius Cadwallader Dugan. Now you know. And knowing is, well, you know. Much to Peggy's surprise and the readers, the recruit is none other than Lady Sif, the Asgardian warrior who many will recognize from the pages and movies of Thor. Surely the adventures of these two warrior maidens will be turned into ballads to be sang forever in the hallowed howls of the realm eternal. Sorry, got a little carried away there. The first half of the book is just some banter between the two ladies who have an obvious mutual respect for each other. Nothing too heavy. Sif eats a sandwich. Suddenly, alarms go off throughout the ship, and Peggy and Sif find themselves escaping for their lives as the world starts to come apart around them. Now, since the ending contains the real twist in the book, I won't reveal the rest of the story to you, but rather suggest you check it out for yourself, even if you're just a fan of the Agent Carter TV show. And if there's one thing you can be sure of, is that there is no shortage of heroic female characters in this book. And in the world of S.H.I.E.L.D., Agent Carter is one lady you don't want to mess with, whether on screen or in the comics. Oh, didn't realize you were still here, Agent. What did you think about Agent Carter number one? Thought it was a pretty solid read. Maybe it's time that this agent get her own regular series, but we can talk more about that later. It's very vital that you go to this website, ComicCollectorLive.com. You can catalog, manage, and organize your comic book collection and pick up hundreds of thousands of other comic books, action figures, and more that are for sale from all kinds of sellers all over the country. It's very important that you subscribe to this YouTube channel, and if you enjoyed it, please mention in the comments below what you liked, what you disliked about this video. That's your mission, and we appreciate it, Agent. We'll see you next time for another episode of Super Mega Comic Action News at Midnight. Stay safe.